Welcome to Ngozi province in Burundi. Good morning. Good morning from Ngozi. I didn't make it to Bujumbura, but right now I'm heading to Bujumbura in a short while. I slept in this very nice hotel. That's my room over there. And right now, let me go have breakfast and then we proceed to Bujumbura. Look at what I'm having for breakfast. It's called... How's this one called? Agatogo. Agatoke. Oh, so this one is called Agatoke. 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 It has um, it has some beef in it. I can see some beef. It's not actually beef. It's the intestines. Yes. It has the intestines and it has some vegetables. What vegetables are these? Lenga lenga. It has some vegetables called lenga lenga, and what else? It's bananas. So have a good day. Thank you. So it's so, bananas, bananas, so the bananas are called igitok, so it looks really amazing. I had made a different order, but I decided to change because I, I want to try it and I think it's super amazing. So let me have this. Mm. It's actually amazing. Mm. It's so sweet. You know, it's so amazing how... Yeah, some countries in some countries people throat. have Russia heavy breakfast like this because yeah. this is not a typical breakfast in kenya i would have this for lunch in kenya you know that do you know the famous saying that says every cloud has a silver lining well our trip to burundi was very hectic as you saw in the previous two videos but guess what we met this very beautiful princess who made this trip very bearable and very beautiful so change of plans you're not going to bujumbura today we'll be visiting the areas around ngozi and another province known as karuzi burundi has 18 provinces so we'll be visiting too so i'm so excited because i'll have a chance to explore another area free of charge oh my goodness this girl she's miss burundi you'll see her maybe in the next couple of my videos she's a former miss burundi she has a golden heart I just can't believe this she's amazing so guys let's enjoy the views of the rural area in burundi hi guys so unlike most places we have started visiting the cities then going to other places you can visit so here in burundi i'm starting from a different city then i'll head to the head capital city much later so i'm in a place called ngozi and i just want to show you some of the most beautiful places you need to visit when in Ngozi. So whenever you come to Burundi, don't finish your journey at Bujumbura. If you only visit Bujumbura, you can't say you've been to Burundi. You need to explore other areas. So join me and let me show you how beautiful it is. If you are passing to Jogar for Burundi, there's no any hills which call Ngozi. But like one hundred years ago. Yeah. They used to, to come, they used to visit this Allah people, people who talk Swahili, yeah. and they make this business of the skin of the cows. Uh -huh. So, uh, okay, they used to speak about uh, Ngozi, Ngozi as the skin of the cow. Yeah. Then uh, later on, Burundian have had that name so long. Then they be, that's how the, the name became. Oh, so from the business of trading the yes. skin of cows? Yeah, from the business. Yeah, and then when they collect these skins of cows, yeah. they used to sell it in a different country, Kenya, all these places. So what are they going to plant down there? It depends. Oh, that's good. And why is the smoke coming out? The smoke is to burn those uh, grass. Oh, oh, so they are burning the grass so that they can prepare they, the... Yes. Okay, that's interesting. Looks so beautiful. Our missionary, I'm a missionary. I'm a missionary. I'm a missionary. 
mission ine miyindi ari paroisse mene ye so this missionaire when they come in burundi they used to plant these trees uh, in the way to connect from church paris parish paris to another parish Oh, so oh. to show directions. Yes. yes, to show directions. Ah, this is interesting. So anywhere you could see these trees, you follow, you'll find yourself in one church. Yes. yes. And you follow them, you find yourself yes. in another church. Yes. Ah, interesting. Is the is the vegetation like this all yes. over the country? Yes. Yes, all over. Oh, there's no place that is dry. No. no. What's the population of Burundi? Uh, now Eleven we are million. Eleven million. This is really beautiful and it means there is no region that is, um, every region is food sufficient. Yes. Yeah, food sufficient. Ah, that's really nice. Start. So, uh, I was telling you, yeah. our coffee in Burundi, uh -huh. uh, they normally, some company raised by the seeds. Yeah. They take us a green seed, yeah. then they go to their country, yeah. then they, they make, they make fashioning and they make it as their own coffee. They uh -huh. branch at their own coffee. Uh -huh. Yet it's the coffee which came from Burundi. Our coffee in Burundi is the best coffee in the world. Coffee from Burundi is the best coffee in the world. Yes. Beans from Burundi are the best beans in the world. Matoka from Burundi are the best in the world. <laughs> so every every food stuff that comes from Burundi is the best in the world, basically. What about your sweet potatoes? Our sweet potato? Yeah. Yeah they are all also, I, I never experienced other sweet potato for other countries, uh -huh. but uh, because we we use we we most of the our plants, yeah. we use normally the natural farm from yes. the cow. Mm -hmm. oh. We don't use uh, the chemical. That's why our plantains as as the best and sweet. Ah, yeah. So it's all organic. It's yes. all organic. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And. Burundians say they have the best coffee, they have the best bananas, they, they have the best food because why? All their food is organic, they don't use chemicals to produce, to farm. They don't use chemical fertilizers in farming, they only use like cow dung, only that. Yeah, you can't believe this. So Burundi, they only, in Burundi they only have the free range chicken, they don't have the broilers. Interesting. What is happening? They're in the spot. Oh, these are spots. Yes. Yeah, by the way, we have the touch of spot. Most of Saturday. We are Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Saturday. Many people go to football. So, which spot are they going for? Football? football. No, football, running, ah. making exercise. Ah, yeah, that's lovely. Mm. It's even in the in the culture of col mm. collaborating with them. A house which can take mm, a lot of millions. Uh -huh. So if we do it with our hands through that community work, uh -huh. it's it's a cheaper. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So, so that is the. Um, does it take place all over the country? Yes, everywhere. Do they also close roads during that time? That time, uh, yes, yes, they close, they close roads. roads like during uh, from eight to ten. To ten. Uh, and how do they monitor that everyone is um, is that participating in the community? Because work? there is a. Uh, do you know uh, Nyumbakumi? You oh, you guys have Nyumbakumi. <laughs> For now, yes. Oh, we tried that in Kenya. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So there is a uh, where you sign. Uh -huh. There's a, a particular paper if you maybe you want to get married uh -huh. or when you want to get any document in the government sometimes uh -huh. which will require you to get that paper to be signed. Uh -huh. How many did you participate in the work community? Ah, yeah. No, so see. that's why it was it helped for many people. They uh -huh. have they doesn't have choice. They have to be there. No, ah, that's Uru interesting. Ni, ni and also our country is small. Yeah. Everyone can know each other. You know each other. You see this guy being not... You know, you know like all your neighbors. Yes, we know. And also the Nyumbakumi thing yeah. emphasizes it. Uh, yes. Ah, interesting. You doesn't have Nyumbakumi to your side? Uh, it was supposed to be implemented, but I don't know what happened. People, I think people are resistant. 
uh, were resistant in accepting it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So guys, we've stopped at this place. They sell cheese direct from farmers. How cool is that? Let me show you. This is interesting. I'm so excited. I hope we'll get to see how it's prepared. Let me see. Come with me. Oh, they finished. Pre okay, so apparently they finished preparing, but let me just show you the cheese, okay? Let me show you the cheese. What type of cheese is that? Uh, no, no. You will try. Oh, we can try. Okay, cool. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. See, in this way, it's coming down from the market. Uh, now they are bringing this to the shop about this carton one. Okay. Oh, how much is that? Uh, in dollars, that will be how much? Around uh, $40. And in Burundi? In Burundi, 18, How much have you paid? 18,000? Yes. It's called Burundi? Burundi francs. Burundi francs. Ah, just like Rwanda. Yes. Rwanda francs. So Burundi francs, 18,000. For how many kgs? Oh, no, no, no. I have to ask. Oh, you have to ask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I she just, you I didn't? Trust, yeah, oh. yeah, I trust her. Oh, okay. Seven, eight kilos. Seven, eight kilos. kgs for? Mm. For 18,000 18, Burundian francs. It is so beautiful spending a random day driving through the villages in a different country. This feeling is so good. I just love it. But the highlight of the day was the dance. Let me just show you the moves, baby. <laughs> 